Welcome to LoRaWAN and Logistics in 5 Minutes. Today, we'll explore what logistics really is, and we'll talk about why logistics and IoT are so difficult together. Then, we'll talk about LoRaWAN and why it's uniquely suited to address a lot of these challenges. Let's get started. So, today on the agenda. First, I'll explain what we mean by logistics. Then, I'll address some particularities of this vertical, which make it difficult to do IoT at scale. I'll talk about why LoRaWAN is able to address these challenges. Finally, we'll look at the LoRaWAN ecosystem and look at some of the logistics use cases LoRaWAN is already addressing. So, what is logistics? When we talk about logistics, we're talking about moving goods. Using multiple methods of transportation and with multiple points of aggregation where these goods need to be tracked. This could mean sending a package to someone in your own city via courier or via plane to another continent. Logistics includes local, air, last mile, and all other kinds of goods, transit, and tracking. So why is the Internet of Things so difficult in logistics? Well, first of all, it's hard to guarantee that there will be some kind of network coverage everywhere goods go. Goods might cross borders, go to remote areas, or be inside where buildings block network access. Next, location determination is actually really difficult. When you pull out your iPhone and it instantly tells you where you are, there's a lot of complex, energy-intensive stuff going on in the background. Getting a GPS fix is battery-intensive and slow. Integrating IoT data into a company's ERP system can be a major challenge. We find that data is only really useful when it's actually integrated into business processes, where it triggers automatic actions and saves people time and energy. Data in some random dashboard doesn't really drive change. Security and privacy are obvious concerns with network connected goods. Finally, systems that run without hiccups are hard to design. Incrementally developed IoT deployments tend to be less error prone than big bang developments, so the ability to marginally increase coverage and tracking is important. Why LoRaWAN in logistics then? Well, Here's one of my favorite slides about why LoRaWAN is awesome. Six of these points directly address the challenges we just saw. LoRaWAN is long range and operates in the license free spectrum, so you can build your own coverage absolutely anywhere you need it. Deep indoor penetration also allows LoRaWAN devices to work in fridges, shipping containers, and deep inside buildings. LoRaWAN is end to end secured by design using modern AES encryption. Finally, the LoRaWAN ecosystem means there's a device for every use case. Using the ThingStack, our LoRaWAN network server, it's really simple to build redundant networks which easily integrate with any ERP system and actually impact business processes. So, about the LoRaWAN ecosystem. In the LoRaWAN device repository, there are thousands of devices which you can sort and search by sensor type. One of the most innovative LoRaWAN chips is the LR1110, which allows passive GPS and Wi-Fi scanning with incredibly low power use by leaving difficult GPS resolution to be done in the cloud. LR1110 devices can provide on-the-hour GPS fixes for years on a single battery. Let's quickly look at some LoRaWAN use cases. Tadalos is using LoRaWAN weight sensors to track inventory inside warehouses. Farox is doing intelligent indoor tracking inside warehouses with LoRaWAN sensors. Halter tracks the location and health of cattle and saves farmers thousands of hours by automating cattle herding. And Wilhelmsen builds LoRaWAN networks on ships to track inventory wherever in the world their ships are. So what can LoRaWAN do for you? Follow the link in the description below if you want us to help building your LoRaWAN solution. And as a last note, if you're interested in learning more about LoRaWAN, join us for the biggest conference on LoRaWAN, the Things Conference in Amsterdam in September. Thanks for watching.